This is video 72 of 101. This video is about action. So yesterday's video was about how to figure out what your goal is in life by visualizing, by dreaming, by just imagining where you're meant to be, by getting your passions and your ideas together and making that a goal. Just for a little recap, essentially you're going to be visualizing your life, visualizing what you're good at, what you want to be doing during your day, what kind of activities or tasks are you really passionate about doing? And that is where you're truly meant to be. I, I honestly believe that everybody has something in their life that they're meant to do, and it doesn't have to be some crazy huge dream lofty goal, whatever. So just don't have any standards, don't have any ideas of what it should be. Just let it be whatever it's meant to be. So then, once we have this goal, once we have this idea, this a visualized dream of what we want to do in our life, where we want to end up, we're here. And there's a lot of space in between. And so this video is about figuring out that space. And so then the first way to get from here to here is here. And so this first step is the most important because that is what's going to get you on that path. So maybe you just have some broad ideas, so some generalized vague things like, oh, I wanna help people or I wanna make things. All right, now we gotta bring that down to action. What do you wanna help people with? How do you wanna help people? What do you wanna make? What are you passionate about making? And then we just need to start. This is called action. So we need to think, all right, here is this person, this most ideal self of me. Who is that person? What kind of traits do they have? What kind of habits do they do? What kind of skills do they know? What kind of experiences have they had? And then we fill in the blanks by learning these skills, by having these experiences, by doing these things that this person has done to get them there. So first, you gotta break it down into smaller goals, because it's really hard to go from here to here. But it's much easier to go from here to here to here to here to here to here. And all these little jumps are your smaller goals. And even between here and here, there's a lot of steps in between. And these are like the tiny little actions to your kind of checkpoints, essentially. So break it down into smaller goals. Maybe you have to go to school. Maybe you're gonna just venture out on your own. Maybe you need to move somewhere. Maybe you need to get some kind of tool or equipment. Make that your goal. But whatever those things are, you just need to start right now with whatever you have so you can gain more knowledge and more experience that's gonna help you figure out your path even more. You wanna be a filmmaker? Start with just filming on your cell phone. The equipment doesn't matter, it's the story that matters and being able to tell a story is what's gonna help you learn and get better and better and better to a point where you have enough money to buy these equipment and make your stuff even more better. Do you need to learn something? Do you need to go to school? There are so many things online that we can learn as well you know go to your library google something youtube there's so much out there that we can learn already without even having to spend any money figure out how you can accomplish these first tiny little steps without having to spend any money because that's going to allow you to at least get an idea of okay is this really what i want to do is this just an idea like i know a lot of people are thinking okay my most ideal is me being on a yacht surrounded by beautiful people but like what did you do to get there what are you doing to give you that life what are you passionate about? That is what's going to give you this ideal. And if you're just chasing money, I have to tell you right away, you got to stop that because chasing money is numbers. And if you're chasing numbers, numbers never end and your chase will never end and you'll never finally get to where you want to be if you're just chasing money. It's not a very structured path because money comes from a lot of things. So don't chase money, just chase your passion. If you want to be on that yacht because you had a company that you sold for a couple billion dollars, now you're just living off that money. Now you got to start that company. What is that company going to be? How are you going to start right now to get that company so you can sell it so you can do whatever? That's not really the most ideal thing because that task at hand, selling that for a lot of money, very hard to do, very rare to do. But if you think you can do it, what's the company? How do you do it? Figure it out. What's your passion? and then turn that into an idea. I think just as an entrepreneurial uh, tip, I think a really great way to figure out what kind of entrepreneurial opportunities are out there is just think about an industry that you love. Do you love sports? Do you love uh, skateboarding? Do you love technology? Do you love equipment? Do you love whatever? So just think about an industry that you love and then think about a problem in that industry. Is there some kind of equipment lacking? Is there something, is there a connection missing? Is there uh, a problem that people are having? And then solve that problem. You'll never be able to make a plan from here all the way out to here, but you can definitely make a plan from here to here and then expand that into more structured actions. 
We really need to be breaking down these goals into actions that we can literally take. For example, for me, I want to get a message out there. I want to change the world. So how am I going to do that? By changing individual people. How do I do that? By getting them to think and be educated about what the right thing is. How do I do that? By creating educational resources for them. How do I do that? Video is a great way to do that. And here I am. This is my specific action that's going to get me to the goal that I want to be at. And then just know that your plan, it's just a plan and it's going to change. I love to plan, but when I plan something, I know that it's not actually going to turn out the way that I want it to because my plan is just me in my head thinking about this action from my perspective, not actually being there. But making a plan is really great because it allows you to at least have a direction. But then when you get out there, allow yourself to be flexible because that's what you're meant to do. The plan is just to get you to the starting line. But then once you get to the starting line, be flexible in how you accomplish that goal. So plan, but don't ever stick to a plan just because it was the plan if it's not going to work. You need to be flexible with your execution. Planning gets you to the starting line, but then be flexible in how you actually get that thing done. So just plan it, but then do it. You gotta get out there. You gotta get to wherever you can get to these opportunities. Is there an industry that you wanna be in, that you wanna be at the top at? You gotta start at the bottom. So plan, think, visualize, dream, and then go do. And let doing guide you to the right place. And who knows, your plan may change a hundred times, but at least every single time you changed your plan, you're getting closer and closer to where you're actually meant to be. Just let yourself be honest with what you want because that's going to lead you to where you need to be.